So I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about kind of what I think is the secret weapon to success in everything. You know, in my normal life, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a nutritionist, I'm an ultra endurance athlete, I write and speak. So in some form or fashion, I am talking about success and helping people push past their limits or their boundaries uh, in a variety of different ways. And people always ask me, you know, how did you run 200 miles through the mountains? Or how did you complete an Ironman triathlete? How do you get other people to do that? And obviously there are many answers, but I think the real secret sauce is gratitude. And at first that might seem like, what does gratitude have to do with any of those things? And my answer is gratitude has everything to do with those things because it really sets your intention. It sets your mental tone and helps kind of clear the negativity and put you in a right space mentally to perform at your best. So what do I mean by gratitude? Do I mean thanking the barista when he gives you a coffee? Yes, but I mean more than that. It's deeper than that. It's a full and rich appreciation for all the blessings that you have. And you can cultivate that. Gratitude just doesn't appear. You don't just say, oh, I'm thankful for being here, and then you feel that way all the time. You can cultivate it and train your brain to feel that more often. And when you're in that grateful space, success follows. So two exercises that I've used and many other successful people I know have used, um, I'll go over right now. And this is by no means the only way to do it. But however you do it, I really encourage you to actively cultivate gratitude in your own life. So one is to start a gratitude journal. You've probably heard of that before, may not have tried it, may have tried it and stopped doing it after a day when you got bored of it like I did when I was 20 years old. <laughs> but it's a very powerful tool. So how do you do that? Simple. Go buy a, a journal, buy one that speaks to you, you know, because it's going to become a, an important piece of your day. So you know, make it leather, make it cool, make it tactile. Um, and then every night before you go to bed, really any time, but I think the best time is before you go to bed, just reflect for a few minutes on your day and the things in your day that you were grateful for. Your spouse, your kids, the fact that you were healthy enough to exercise and write it down and review it and try to emotionally attach to it, just for a second. This doesn't have to be a long, exhausting exercise and it should actually be fun and do it every day. The other thing, and this is what I do to cultivate gratitude, is every morning when I wake up, I open my eyes, I don't check my email or my phone like I want to, and I just lay there for a couple minutes and I think about all the things that I have to be grateful for in my life. I think about my mom, I think about my wife, I think about the clients I'm gonna help throughout the day. I emotionally attach to it just for a second and then my intention is set for the day. And all the negativities that snipe at us throughout the day are quelled because of that. So the important thing is do one of those exercises or another exercise that you research on your own, be consistent with it and you will notice it will supercharge your life across the board.